Dans cette vidéo, nous allons présenter... video, we bring you the work that was done on humankind's music. First, we're going to take a world tour with exceptional musicians who play traditional instruments, who will demonstrate the different cultures in the game. Afterwards, we'll show you the work that was done on the game's orchestral parts. So, here's all the work, from the writing to the composition of the orchestral music. When I discovered these instruments from pre-Columbian civilizations, it was a real shock. Possibly because we're returning to the roots of sound. That's to say, there are a people for whom music had a different significance than it does for us. This music is an entryway into other states of consciousness. It's this vibratory of sound that's also constantly used in shamanic rituals, for example. Native Americans didn't have these large civilizations like the Aztecs, or those further south, for example, the Incas or the Mayas. But these are very rich and spiritual civilizations among all the Native Americans. In fact, the only instrument we find is the flute. It's a flute that nowadays we often call a flute of love because its primary role was to court women. We know that teenagers in the tribes learned how to play the flute as they became adolescents. And at that moment, they could begin courting women. And then, this game of flute was prohibited once married. Here is the snake flute. The snake, in the symbolism of all civilizations from around Mexico, is not a negative symbol. The snake is a force of life. It's also used for rituals, to grow crops. The snake can also be used in rain dances. In any case, it's a powerful force of life. Amongst the oldest civilizations, such as the Mayas and those before, there were a lot of double key flutes, double flutes or triple flutes. In general, they were looking to create the beat phenomenon. The beat affects the brain when played for a long time and helps one to leave the body. It's even been studied by neurologists to transcend into other states of consciousness. Each instrument, each ocarina will have its series of notes that might be pretty similar, but different. It's also a very Native American principle to consider that the instruments have a life, their beings. Each being has a personality. So one must actually become friends with the instrument, get used to its scale. I have this flute, it's a globular flute that's played like a recorder or even a transverse flute. These flutes come from a region of Guatemala, but are flutes from the Mayan era. Here I have a small flute that's commonly called the flower flute. This little flute was used by the Aztecs, probably for the releasing of human sacrifices. This flute was possibly used to call out in these sacrifices. Amongst the Aztecs, we also have this very special whistle called the death whistle. It's a skull that was worn and used, we think, 
by Aztec warriors to terrorize their enemies. So you have to imagine a hundred warriors during the night blowing these whistles. <laughs> 